Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot back again with my movie and TV bucket list. This is where I break down all the new releases coming to theaters, coming to streaming, as well as new TV shows for the new month. And this month, we're talking about the new releases for June, which, based on the list that I have here, we've got a pretty interesting June to look forward to, and I'm so excited to break it all down for you all. But before we do so, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. That way, you all can get the alert for when I drop new content it would mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this breakdown video it helps out the channel a lot but i also appreciate all the support and in the comments let me know when new movie coming to theaters coming to streaming new tv shows that you're most excited for for the month in june and let's talk about it in the comments below so let's kick things off talking about the theater movies now we've been getting some movies coming to theaters these last few months theaters have been opening up worldwide nationwide and me myself i saw two movies in the theaters last month which is crazy to say because i didn't go to theater for the first time in over a year and three months so it's great to be back in the theaters and uh we got some movies coming to theaters and i'm actually excited for starting off with june 16th which is a wednesday and actually this actually comes out on june 11th to june 12th a week before its premiere and that is this is a weird title the hitman's wife's bodyguard now i didn't see the first one let me know in the comments number one if you've seen the first one if you're a fan if you're excited for the sequel should I check it out? Because I'm not going to lie. Seeing the trailer for the second one, I was liking the energy. I, I like Ryan Reynolds. I, I love Sam Jackson. I'm a huge Selma Hayek fan. This dates back to the 90s. Desperado from Dust Till Dawn. And then seeing her kicking ass in the Eternals trailer. I can't wait to see what she does in that film. But I like the trailer. Morgan Freeman and Tony Banderas to round out the cast. It, Ryan Reynolds is playing Ryan Reynolds yet again. And uh, Sam Jackson giving us the Sam Jackson-isms. But I like the trailer. But whenever the first one came out, I think it was three years ago. It just didn't I'm like, ah, it just seems like another Sam Jackson, Ryan Reynolds kind of getting some shenanigans, but apparently it made a lot of money to warrant a sequel. So let me know if I should check it out and if you're excited for this sequel coming out June 16th. Moving on to a big one. Now, this film actually came out last month. The international markets is making a lot of money. There's just a little bit of controversy going on behind the scene involving one of the actors, but no less is coming out to theaters June 25th, and that is F9 Fast and Fear. Furious Saga, Fast and Furious 9, the family's back, Dom and the whole damn crew, and they're bringing a new family member along, played by John Cena as his brother, where the hell has he been this whole time, but nonetheless, we got him in the mix, we got some characters from Tokyo Drift, and Han's back, now listen, I wouldn't say I'm a diehard Fast and Furious fan, but I, I like what the franchise brings to the table, it knows what it is to a certain extent, because when you look at the first Fast and Furious, the first three films, it was a race car movie, they were still in DVD players, and then as we went on, we got spies and superheroes, and now we're going to space, and we're maybe going against Jurassic Park crossover in a couple years. Who knows what they got up their sleeves. But I've never seen a Fast and Furious film in theaters. Now, I saw Hobbs and Shaw in theaters, which I love that movie, by the way. Can't wait for the sequel. Keanu Reeves is going to be the villain, I'm telling you now. Uh, but I've never seen a Fast and Furious main story in the theater. So I might go see this in theaters. I think I might get a press screener. But if not, I might just go out and, and see what this Fast and Furious is like in a theatrical experience versus watching it at home for the first time. So let me know, number one, if you're a fan of the franchise if you're excited for this ninth one and what do you want to see them do next in this franchise let me know in the comments so wrapping up the theatrical rundown here coming out june 30th which is a wednesday we have the new a24 film by the name of zola which I'm liking what this film gave me in the trailer. I heard great things about it. I believe it was like almost two years ago that it hit the film festivals and a lot of people were speaking highly about it. You have Taylor Page, who I'm not too familiar with the work. I did enjoy her. She had a really small role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, but this is what gets me excited. It's A24, Riley Kilo, who I'm a big fan of, especially with A24 and horror, and then you have my man, Coleman D'Amico. Now, I'm excited for uh, Taylor Page. I believe she's going to be the star of this film, and she's going to probably get a lot of uh, recognition from her role just based on what I heard and also based on the trailer, but those two actors get me excited. It's A24. It reminds me a little bit of Spring Breakers. You have these two people that meet on social media. It seems like a lot of deception and lies and some comedy, some drama, so listen, I'm an A24 fan. I don't know if I'm going to see this in theaters, but I'm definitely going to try to reach out to A24 to get a screener, but let me know if you're excited for Zola coming out June 30th. So those are the theater movies. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know what you're most excited to see in theaters 
coming in June. So moving on to streaming, starting off with Netflix, we have on June 4th, we have a new sci-fi series by the name of Sweet Tooth, which is a story about a post-apocalyptic world. We have these new breed of humans that are human slash uh, uh, animals. The Most of the world, the adults have kind of decimated. You, you can't have kids anymore. And it's another post-apocalyptic world. Now, I have seen the first two episodes. I have the entire series in my at my disposal, but I'm not going to lie. I couldn't get into it. It was too kid-friendly. Now, I have some friends of mine that have seen it uh, in its entirety, and there's been some early reviews out there, and most people seem pretty positive about it, but I just couldn't get into it. I always like to give shows three episodes, but I couldn't get past the second episode. But based on some of the reviews out there, I might try to give it another watch. It is a DC property. Robert Downey Jr. and his wife are behind it. There is some things I like about the set the, the first two episodes but i just it didn't hook me but who knows maybe i'll get back into it let me know if you all excited for sweet tooth coming to netflix on june 4th moving on to a wednesday june 9th we have a new sci-fi thriller by the name of awake starring gina rodriguez who i'm a fan of her work this premise is really interesting now i didn't watch the trailer because i read the synopsis I'm like oh let me try to stay away from this and maybe be surprised by this new sci-fi because i love sci-fi but i know from based on the synopsis essentially another post apocalyptic world but apparently there's something that went across the world that making people not be able to sleep i don't know if we're dealing with aliens or creatures or if there's like a quiet place vibe going on but i like that premise let me know if you are excited for awake i hope to get a screener for that and let you all know if it's worth checking out but let me know if you are looking forward to that film but moving on to the next week rounding out the netflix rundown we have on june 18th we have a new comedy drama starring kevin hart by the name of fatherhood now i know this is based on a novel which i've heard great things about but coming to kevin hart now i like the trailer it it really kind of spoke to me it got me in the feels it looked really good he when he i've only seen him in one really like true like dramatic role it was him and uh brian cranson and nicole kidman i can't think of the name of the film but it came out a couple years ago he was okay in that film but i mostly know kevin hart as a comedy man right and i think it's kevin hart in the same way i look at ryan reynolds i like them but they, they they play the same character in every film but i don't know let me know if you are looking forward to fatherhood if you have read the novel if you are excited to see kevin hart taking on this new more dramatic role of course it's going to have some comedic beats but let me know your thoughts on june 18th fatherhood coming to netflix and also let me know what new movie what new show that i maybe miss that's coming back to netflix or coming on for the first time that you're excited for let me know in the comments moving on to apple tv plus we have a new drama horror psychological thriller by the name of lizzie's story coming out june 4th now i have seen the trailer i actually have the entire series that i'm going to be watching i'm going to be reviewing every single week because listen Apple TV Plus, if you've been part of this community for a while, you know I cover a lot of their movies and shows, and I am a big fan of their content, their original content. And then you tell me it's horror, psychological thriller with this cast of Julianne Moore, Clive Owen, Joan Allen, Dane DeHaan, Jennifer Jason Lee. I watched a featurette that they put out a couple weeks ago, and knowing that this is Stephen King's, it seems like he always says this, but he said that this is his favorite story that he wrote back in 2006 because it was such a personal story to him. I love the trailer. I love the visuals and the horror vibes that it was giving me and a psychological in the head going to this special place. Listen, I'm excited. I love psychological thriller. I love Stephen King, Apple TV Plus. Expect reviews every single week. But let me know if you all are excited for Lizzie's story coming to Apple TV Plus. Speaking of a new series, we have on June 18th, we have the new dramedy by the name of Physical, which stars a very underrated actress, and that's Rose Byrne. I'm such a big fan of her. This is basically a story that takes place in the 80s, and it's essentially a, a, a journey of self discovery in the 80s. Her trying to be this kind of workout mobile entrepreneur i'm a big fan of hers i have that series to my disposal i'm gonna watch the first few episodes and let you all know if it's worth checking out and maybe review it every single week but let me know if you are excited for those shows coming to apple tv plus and if there's some other things i missed let me know in the comments moving on to disney plus we got the big one the next week we took a break a break from the marvel shows but now we're back in the fold with Loki coming out june 9th every single wednesday I'm excited, man. I'm a big fan of time travel. Even though it's kind of convoluted in the end game, I'm going to see how they're going to refix the timeline, the time branches that Loki created. I love Tom Hiddleston. I, some people are a little tired of Loki, but I'm hoping to get reintroduced to this new Loki of a sorts. The characters look rich. You know, the chemistry between Loki and Morbius played by Owen Wilson looks pretty good. The rest of the cast is fantastic. 
Kane the Conqueror, maybe some alternate characters that we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be setting up, you know, Spider-Man 3 and Doctor Strange 2 and following up with WandaVision. I'm excited. We're going to be doing those recaps like I did for WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier. I can't wait for the show. Let me know if you all are excited for Loki coming to Disney Plus June 9th. And then we have a film coming to Disney Plus, and that is on June 18th. We have Luca. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is not the $30 charge that we got with a couple movies from Disney. This is free like Soul was. Uh, and I like Luca, man. The visuals look stunning. The story looks really integral. I love Pixar. Let me know if you all are excited for Luca. I- I'm hoping to get a screener for it and give you my thoughts early, but if not, still expect a review from me on that film. But let me know your excitement level there. Moving on to HBO Max. We got a couple movies coming to HBO Max as well as theaters at the same time. Starting off with Friday, June 4th, we have one of my favorite horror franchises in the last decade, and that is The Conjuring 3, or subtitled The Conjuring Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Now, I am a Conjuring fan. I've seen both films in theaters when they first came out. I own all the films. I've seen all the spinoffs. And the only thing that made me a little bit nervous with this film was James Wan is not directing. He's executive producer. I think he has some credits to the story. But we have Michael Chavez, who was the director of La Llorona, which I thought was okay, could have been done better. But he has, I, I still feel like he had a good directing sensibility and kind of create a great atmosphere. So I've heard some pretty positive reviews views uh, of the film and it will be coming to theaters and on HBO Max at the same time. They will not be doing early screeners for this film in my market, but I do plan on checking this film out. So expect a review for The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It. Let me know your thoughts on that and your excitement level for this film. Moving on to a film that I am really excited for everyone to check out and that is on June 11. That is In the Heights, which will be playing in theaters, but also on HBO Max on the same day. I reviewed this film on my channel. I I actually got the opportunity to see it a couple months ago. Spoke pretty highly about it. Check out my full thoughts, but let me know if you're excited for In the Heights. I don't want to really get into it because, like I said, I did a full uh, spoiler-free review on it. Let's just say I highly recommend it, guys. But let me know if you're excited for In the Heights and if you will be checking it out in theaters or at home. Let's discuss it in the comments. But then wrapping up HBO Max, we have a show coming back to the big screen, or in this case, a small screen, and that is season two of Generation. Part two will be coming back June 17. Now, I covered the first part of the show. I really enjoyed it. It, it kind of scratched that euphoria itch for me uh, with a little bit more comedy involved than what we get in euphoria. But I'm excited for this part two, so expect weekly reviews to be brought back June 17th for Generation. So those were all the big things coming to HBO Max as well as in theaters. Let me know what you all are looking forward to the most. And wrapping up this breakdown, finishing things off with Hulu coming out Friday, June 11th, we have season two of Love, Victor. Now I remember Love Victor season one. I was so surprised by the show. I liked the movie. I didn't love the movie, but I love this show. I'm really excited to see what they do with the season two, following up with the characters. Victor is out now and his relationship with his boyfriend and all the other characters that I really enjoyed. I'm really excited for this show. And uh, I actually got the screener for the entire season. So expect an early review for that show coming pretty soon. But let me know if you are a fan of Love Victor and if you're excited for season two. And then wrapping up the month, we have June 25th, another A24 film. We have false positive a Hulu exclusive. Again, A24 is the one that produced this film, but it's on Hulu. This cast is great. I love the the trailer, the thriller, the horror, Rosemary Babies vibe. You have Eliza Glazer, who I'm a fan of, a Broad City. You have Justin Theron, who is part of my favorite show of all time, Leftovers. Sophia Bush. You have Josh Hamilton and Pierce Brosman. So this cast is great. I'm loving the trailer. I love what this, this trailer kind of gave me, and I am really excited for this film. It's a horror film. has a great cast. A24 sign me up. So there you have it. Streaming movies, streaming shows, new shows coming to platforms, new movies coming in theaters. We got a lot to look forward to in June, but let me know what you're most excited for and let me know if you're excited for me to cover any of those movies and shows for this new month. Let's discuss it in the comments. Make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any of my other content for the month of June. May was an incredible month. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the community, and let's continue to build this channel and look forward to some great things coming in June. So I hope you all enjoyed this breakdown. Hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.